Welcome again to our daily reflections on the Psalms. Today we're going to be looking at Psalm 89. How do you deal with disappointment? How do you respond to times and seasons in your life when you have expectations of a certain thing happening but then something completely different or even opposite appears to be happening? Seasons like this can be very frustrating. They can even leave us disillusioned about our purpose in life. And as a Christ follower, they can sometimes leave us disillusioned about God being in control or that he has forgotten us. In Psalm 89, the author is writing about a time when the people and the nation of Israel appear to be in captivity without a king. In fact, most people believe this is written when Babylon overturned or overtook them and placed their own king over them. The disillusionment for the Israelites came because they were told by God himself that they would always have a king from the line of David on their throne forever. So now, here they're saying, God, where are you? How long will this last? How long will you forget about us? And with this said, the psalmist also states that God let them know that if they didn't follow his ways in obedience, that there would be consequences or discipline to help bring them back into relationship with him. With this context set, the psalmist repeatedly talks of God's greatness, his unfailing love and faithfulness. I think he realized that God is faithful but the Israelites hadn't been faithful, and so he was reminding himself and the rest of Israel of who God ultimately is. God was still who he was, even when their circumstances appeared otherwise. In verse 6, he says, For who in all of heaven can compare with the Lord? In verse 11, The heavens are yours, and the earth is yours. Everything in the world is yours you created it all. Verse 8, faithfulness is your very character. Verse 14, your throne is founded on two strong pillars, righteousness and justice. Unfailing love and truth walk before you as attendants. So what's in this for us? You may have current life circumstances that don't seem to be what you thought God would want. Uh, you may have expected that your life would be in a different place now based on how God was leading you in the past. Or we may be in circumstances that are due to sinful decisions we've made in the past. If this is your current circumstances or past circumstances, or maybe you find yourself in a place, you will find yourself in a place like this in the future, maybe our first response should be to ask God to search our hearts and see if we're walking in disobedience to what he's asked us to do. Secondly, we should consider reminding ourselves of God's promises to us, that if we keep walking in faithful obedience to God, that God will be loving and faithful to lead us and work things out in his timing. God ultimately works things out for the Israelites when they return to God, and he gave them a king that was was and is on the throne forever in the line of David, and that is Jesus. God is faithful and loving even when we're not. So let's hang on to him. God, would you forgive us when we are caught up in our circumstances and we forget about you and we walk in disobedience? Would you help us to quickly repent and then to remember your faithfulness your uh, loving kindness towards us, your unfailing love. And would we hang on to that and trust you with your timing to lead us out on the other side, all while hanging on to your hand. We need your help to do this, God. We pray this in your name. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day today. Still your mercy remains and 
Should I stumble again? Still I'm caught in 